Some people wonder how certain pure stock cars can run so quick, and the answer is pretty obvious. Read the video description box. But there's actually another secret that you may not realize, and I'm going to share it with you today. This race is from an older Cars and Zebras video that you might recognize, but now I have some in-car footage for the Super B, and you're going to find the secret to all of that speed is in the shifting. And I'm going to slow down the footage a little bit so we don't miss anything. But let's check it out. Here's the driver. You can see that he's focused. He's ready to go. We get the green light. Great launch. This should be a good race. Fantastic shift to second. There's third. He didn't hesitate at all. And fourth. Very nice. This should be a quick run. Oh, okay. There's fifth. Good shift. Very good shift. Sixth. Okay, I guess. Seventh gear. Uh, that's odd. Borderline suspicious. Eighth, ninth, tenth. Okay, okay. Oh, man, across the finish line. And as you can see, the secret to a good run in pure stock is very positive shifting and a 16-speed manual transmission. How do you like them apples? 1978 Chevrolet Camaro. And there were a few good things that happened in 1978. ACDC released the album Power Age. Animal House was in theaters. Mine's bigger than that. I beg your pardon? And then we got this nugget, the Camaro Z28. And I won't lie, I'm a big fan of these cars. I mean, even though they had a 350 with a hydraulic lifter cam, two bolt mains, and compression ratio 8.2 to 1. It's disgusting! They still had pretty good performance for the era. I mean, we're talking net horsepower was 185 at 4,000 RPM, and torque was 280 pound-feet at 2,400 RPM. And keep in mind, that was all through an exhaust system that ran through a single catalytic converter, and just the thought of that makes me want to get up early in the morning and take a dump on the engineer's lawn. <laughs> Poop again! <laughs> he called the shit poop! <laughs> sure, the styling is a little bit bold, but I think it looks great, you know? It actually looks like a sports car. The hood scoop isn't functional. And just compare it to some of the other cars of the era. I mean, this is the 1978 Dodge Charger. Look at it. Look at it! Fuck you! Inside, you'll find a three-speed automatic transmission, and it's a TH350. And smart move by the owner putting a towel over those seats because the material they were using in the late 1970s, well, that'll burn them butt cheeks worse than the Taco Bell value menu. Outback is a set of factory original 342 gears. Curb weight? Well, it's actually not that bad. Only 3,549 pounds. Original testing by Car and Driver magazine in March of 1978 showed a quarter mile time of 16 seconds at 91.1 miles per hour. That's not terribly quick by today's standards, but in 1978, that was a rocket. <laughs> This car isn't exactly what you would call rare. There were 54,907 Z28s produced in 1978. So you could probably find one if you want to relive some glory days. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the music down, you guys. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Look what I found in the wild. It's a 1970 Plymouth GTX. I don't believe it. Shh. Look at that thing. Ooh, and it's even in its natural drag strip habitat. Nature is amazing. Yes, it is, because this thing has a 440 cubic inch V8. And since it's the four barrel variety, it has a compression ratio of 9.7 to 1, and it was rated 375 horsepower at 4,600 RPM and 480 pound feet of torque at 3,200 RPM. And apparently the muscle car gods have shined down favorably upon us because this car is equipped with a four-speed manual. I am catastrophically aroused right now. You'll see here that this car has option A33 track pack. And since it's very original, we can assume that it still has its 355 gears. Even with that conservative gear, since this thing has a combination of a 440 and a four speed, it's gonna be a handful to get it off the line. Especially since the tires are about the width of a hot ready pizza. Without the diarrhea, of course. <laughs> 
Since the GTX is more of a gentleman's hot rod, it did have a few more options and therefore a little bit more chunk. And so this car's curb weight is 3,783 pounds and that gives over 200 pounds advantage to the Camaro. They didn't make very many 1970 Plymouth GTXs equipped with the four barrel and a four speed, only 1,471. And that makes this car pretty rare, unlike William Nichols in the comments section spreading his knowledge. Well, that's it, you guys. I guess I better pack my bags and go back to muscle car school. <laughs> A 1969 GTX was tested by Motor Trend Magazine in January of 1969, and it ran 0-60 in 5.8 seconds and the quarter mile in 13.7 seconds at 102.8 miles per hour. But keep in mind that was with an automatic transmission and 410 gears, so our featured car might not be quite that quick. At the time of filming, the temperature was 70 degrees, humidity was 20%, elevation 754 feet, and barometric pressure 29.35 inches. Let's check out that first round. And in the first round, it's the Camaro that takes the win, running a 14.18 second quarter mile at 98.88 miles per hour. And in the other lane, the GTX ran 14.56 seconds at 96.94 miles per hour. Let's see what happens in round two and if the GTX can redeem itself. And the no name will bar. And in the second round, the Camaro again takes the win, running a very impressive 13.92 seconds at 98.62 miles per hour. Meanwhile, the GTX also showed improvement, running a 14.31 seconds at 96.75 miles per hour. And even though with this win, the Camaro claims the best of three title, both owners decided to run the third round anyway, so let's check it out. We're here on the tire side, Tom Miller's Camaro. Good Lake side. And with that, the Camaro wins all three rounds, this time running 14.00 seconds at 98.68 miles per hour. And the GTX was very consistent, running 14.53 seconds at 97.02 miles per hour. Not bad considering it's an original car with 355 gears. A big thanks to the owners for bringing out these two cars. It was absolutely awesome seeing them on the drag strip in their natural habitat. Shh. Look at that thing. Nature is amazing.